Hello everyone, this is Marta from Cisco Talk, and in this video, I will show you how to examine memory usage on iOS XC platforms. iOS XC is an operating system built on the Linux kernel. This is why in some outputs, we will see a list of Linux processes, each consuming a certain amount of memory. Our goal should be to identify any processes that are using an abnormally high amount of memory, which could indicate a memory leak or high memory usage due to the scale of the deployment. High memory usage can sometimes be expected, such as when the device is handling a large number of client sessions or receiving numerous routes from its PGP peers. On the other hand, a memory leak occurs due to a software defect where previously allocated memory is not properly freed. To confirm a memory leak, we need to collect output data over time to monitor how the processes are behaving and where this memory allocation is occurring. By periodically gathering this data, we can observe if the memory usage counters continue to increase, indicating a potential memory leak. This way, I will guide you through some steps on how to examine memory usage with a proactive approach. Our initial focus should be on checking the overall memory utilization of the system to identify if we are facing high memory usage, and if so, which component is affected. The command show platform resources provides a comprehensive overview of resource usage. This output is useful for a high level view of the current memory usage at both the control plane and data plane levels. In this output, we want to check the usage percentages and the state of each component. There are three states, healthy, warning, and critical. For example, you might see in this case that the DRAM on the RP is nearing the warning state threshold. This way, we will want to inspect which process is potentially consuming an abnormal amount of memory. So we should have a look at the iOS XC memory at Linux processes level. We can use the show process memory platform sorted command to check memory usage per iOS XC process. And we should focus on the free memory and the RSS, which stands for resident set size and represents the memory occupied by each process. The top memory consumers are printed first. And we can see that the Linux iOS D image is at the top here. This can be expected since iOS D will get a good amount of memory allocated to it. You can check the memory available for iOS D in the show version output. The line in green shows the iOS D memory and the light blue one shows the total physical memory of the system. So next, we should check if there could be a problem with iOS D memory usage. The show process memory sorted command shows memory usage per iOS process with the top memory consumers listed first. Here, we want to focus on the free memory and the holding counters. Let's take a look at these outputs. On the above output, if we calculate the percentage of free memory of the processor pool, we will get 15% of free memory within iOS D. Whereas in the output below, we can see that it shows a healthier scenario since we have almost 77% of free memory available. So if we pay attention to the holding counters above, the malloc light process would be something to investigate further as it is holding a high amount of memory. The show memory allocating process total command offers a bit more granularity. It can help us identify the allocator PC, which represents a function in the source code that is responsible for the elevated memory usage. Here, we want to look at the total and count values for the allocator PCs listed on top. And in such cases, engaging Cisco TAC to decode the PC associated with the top consumer might be necessary. We noticed earlier that DRAM usage was at 87%. If it surpasses the warning threshold, a syslog like the one in yellow will likely appear in the logs. If the memory continues to rise above the critical threshold, then the logs will look like the red one below. This notification mechanism helps users monitor the system's memory and determine how quickly they need to take action on this issue. If your device has reached the warning or critical state already, checking your syslog server can help you pinpoint when the issue started by noting when the alerts first appeared. In this case, you will take a reactive approach since you already know the device is experiencing high memory usage. However, the steps to analyze the issue are the same ones we previously covered. Additionally, on iOS XC switching platforms, we have the option to monitor TempFS, which is a temporary Linux file system that resides in memory. If your device is experiencing high TempFS memory usage and has reached either the warning or critical state, you are likely to see these logs. In that case, we will want to troubleshoot the TempFS memory specifically. 
On some platforms, for example on Cat9K switches, the overall TempFS usage is displayed in the output of Show Platform resources. To examine TempFS memory usage, we can use this command to identify problematic mount points and growing TempFS file systems. In the output, we want to focus on the used and used percentage columns to detect any increases or suspiciously high values in the file system usage. To monitor the file names and sizes within TempFS, we can use the same command with the DUTMP keywords. This will help us identify if any files are gradually consuming more space over time. Some of these listed entries are directories that contain additional files, which aren't displayed until we navigate into those directories. For a more detailed investigation, we may need to enter the Linux shell, which will require assistance from Cisco TAC. Following these steps will help you perform basic memory usage verification on iOS XC platforms, ensuring your system remains healthy. If you are to open a TAC case related to high memory usage, don't forget to collect and upload a Showtech and a Showtech memory. This last report will gather all the relevant memory-related logs, and this will make it easier for the TAC engineer to start analyzing the issue right away. Thank you for watching.